Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about um, Dungeons and Dragons and the use of backup characters and um, and Seth Gorkowski's claim. Uh, actually, Seth Gorkowski making it very clear that he plays for fun and why he feels that excuses using backup characters which I think at this point, using a backup character is bad dungeon mastering. All right, so, and the reason why is it, 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 it tells people, when your player character dies, there will be absolutely no time for you to feel, reflect, learn, grow, transform. You are, I refuse, I, as a dungeon master, I refuse to allow you time to process a character death. And, the, and today, in 2024, that is outrageously irresponsible. It is, and selfish. It's bad dungeon mastering at every level. All right, so Seth's a good guy. He's not he's not trying to harm harm his players. Uh, he's not trying to hurt anybody. He's not trying to be selfish, but he is being selfish, and I think he's making a bad experience for his players. All right, so let's get into this. So he's saying the reason that they have to have backup characters is they 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 get together once a month, they play for eight to ten hours. Um, and you know, so, and he doesn't want anybody to get stuck and he also doesn't want the campaign to stop, right? Like he doesn't want to stop play right now. And he says, and you know, and we don't have time. And, he, and then he clearly, he, in his response to my Twitter post, he said, Hey, um, and by the way, if you want full context on this, this is part of a playlist. If you want to watch the first video, you don't have to but it'll give you more full context if you haven't watched the first video. All right, so he said, hey, you know, we play for fun, right? And so we don't have time to be thinking about what we can learn from imaginary lives, right? Uh, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call, uh, you know, uh, Bullpucky, <laughs> Mr. Seth Gorkowski. You ain't playing for fun, please. Let's look at that, let's look at that statement, right? Okay, all right, first of all, you're getting together for eight to 10 hours. That's a, like, that's a lot of time to be spending for fun, right? Like, in fact, I don't think people do things for eight to 10 hours for fun, right? Like, it, 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 it's literally a work day, right? Like it, it, that's a good, solid work day, right? Like, you're putting in the labor, right? Second, that, that eight to 10 hours once a month, that's just the start of the time Seth Krakowski is putting in, right? He has got to be spending an additional 10 to 30 hours a month on his channel. Seth, I invite you to correct me, but we both do the same thing. And I, I think I know you spend in at least 10 to 30 hours a month on your channel. Let me break it down for all you guys, okay? First of all, he's thinking about his channel. I do it all the time, right? Like he's writing in his head, right? What, you know, he's thinking all, like, for me, a lot of my brain space goes to Dungeons and Dragons getting ready for the next session, getting ready for campaigns that are three years out, right? Like, I'm always writing in my head. Seth is the same dude. He's writing in his head, right? So there's a lot of time and thought and energy going into his content, right? That's it, that, and that that is time, energy, and focus, right? He then has to write out a script, right? You know, just like, I've seen his video, he ain't just winging that, right? He's got notes, he's got a structure, right? Then, in addition to that, he's got to shoot it. He's got to sit down and take time out of his day to shoot it, right? Then he's got to edit it, right? Like, you know, like, and and in addition to that, he's also writing other products and engaged in other tables. He's spending at least, at least, at least 20 to 40 hours a month. For fun, please. Let, let's look at that. What's the result of his fun? Right here, you go. Right, he might be having some fun on that on that other, you know on that day, but the reality is, his table, right, his narrative, his campaigning, is impacting at least a thousand to twenty five thousand other tables throughout the world. He has an educational channel that teaches people how to play Call of Cthulhu how to pick the best adventures, how to play Traveler, how to play Dungeons and Dragons, right? He talks about review. 
he talks about the deepest parts of the tabletop role-playing um, subject, and he does it in depth, right? So his channel has made his table instructional, inspirational, right? There's stakes on the ground. It, there, he has grown an audience of tens of thousands of viewers, right? If he's getting it right, they're getting it right. If he's getting it wrong, it's screwing up the table for a thousand to twenty-five thousand tables, on at least three systems, maybe ten systems, right? That's stakes on the ground. The idea that it's fun is absurd. He is absolutely a TR, a TTRPG subject matter expert. He answers questions, right? In his comments, he's helping other people, right? And it, you know, and that's also, that is engaging with the community, right? And what I'm saying is we spent 50 years telling people nothing we did mattered at the table. Oh, it's just fun. We're not a community, we don't care for each other, right? Like, it's just fun, who cares, right? Like, what I'm saying is the Dungeons and Dragons community is doing real things now, right? And Seth Sorkowski is part of that community, right? We are achieving things, right? We are changing the narrative in America and draw, and, and in a time where the world is flocking to video games. We're saying, hey, what about literature? What about art? What about acting, right? What about reading? You know, what about real meeting together at a physical table and building real relationships with people? What about doing something that is a completely new art form that only came out since, that that we've had five decades of and has done almost nothing but improve the world, right? And it, and it has a, a higher ROI than any other, uh, you know, than anything else you could do, and especially with video games now, like, you know, like what parents like, oh, I wish my kid would play another, you know, you know, another round of Call of Duty, but but what parent is going to be like, oh, wait a second, is he reading a 250 page source book and asking me for another? Is he figuring out what polyhedrals are? Is he apologizing to his friend so his friend, you know, will come back to the table? rather than just cursing at somebody over a, you know, over a headset and mic. This is more than fun. And Seth Gorkowski dumping 20 to 40 hours a month minimum? Does he get to pretend that this is all nothing and it's just for fun? And as he literally impacts, and if it is for fun, does he not care that he now has a responsibility to help a thousand to 25,000 tables? because they're taking his advice and they're listening to him? So is he completely unaware of the ideas of bleed or, or you know, safety tools or any, like, you know, if it's all just fun, you know, what does that mean? Does he, he doesn't care about his position as a leader in the community and as a teacher in the community? And the thing is, I think he does. I think what he's saying is complete bullpucky. Complete bull. He is way deeper than fun. Nobody spends 20 to 40 hours a month for five to 10 years for fun. That's dedication. That's advocacy. That is aid. That is community engagement. He is way past fun. It's ludicrous for him to claim that, that this is fun. Right? Like, you know, like, you know, it's, it, and on it, it's, it's ludicrous. I, I just, I call bullpucking on it, right? Like, you know, and, and, and the reason why is we need, and the reason why I'm calling them out is it's time. We need to stop this. We have something special. We have something that the world simply does not have that, that has the ability to truly elevate human narrative in a way that has never occurred in any medium, right? And to spit on it and say, ah, oh, it's just beer and pretzels. It doesn't care. You'd be just as good. Just you know, dumping your time in anything. You could play tiddlywinks. It, it shoots and ladders, it's nothing. It's wrong, it's wrong. And it is absurd to hear this kind of nonsense coming from somebody who's dedicated a massive portion of their life, a massive portion of their energy, focus, and time. Like, let's, let's call a glade a glade. Let, let's get real about this. We're past fun. 
right? And yeah, every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. What's important is when I hear your humble opinion. When you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking and subscribing. Have a fetch millennium.